Hi guys, so tensions continue to grow in Northern Ireland due to Brexit. There has been foot dragging by the British government when it comes to the implementation of checks and infrastructure they agreed to under the withdrawal agreement. Remember the withdrawal agreement, aka the oven ready deal. Now while Boris Johnson's government continues to say that it will implement the protocol, the EU is concerned that the UK is attempting to kick the can down the road when it comes to that implementation. It doesn't mean that the UK government doesn't want to implement it, but it wants to do it on its own terms. Now this foot dragging is causing concern in Brussels. So talks took place on Thursday night between the EU and the UK to ease tensions in Northern Ireland. They have been described as productive and constructive, with momentum now established to achieve a solution to the crisis. Now these were the comments made by Brexit Minister Lord David Frost. However, the EU used the meeting between Lord Frost and the European Commission Vice President Maros Sheshkovich to warn that the outcome needed to be jointly agreed. Sheshkovich said in a statement that there was no space for unilateral action. He also said that the threat of legal action over the UK's decision last month to delay some of the border checks on goods moving from Great Britain to Northern Ireland would remain on the table for as long as necessary. Frost and Sheshkovich held four hours of talks in Brussels on Thursday night in what the EU described as a solution-driven atmosphere, in what some see as a warming of relations between the two over Northern Ireland. The two sides have agreed to intensify talks at all levels over the next few weeks, with meetings with business leaders and civic leaders in Northern Ireland taking place in the next two weeks. Brussels, it seems, wants to get the ball rolling again. David Frost said the talks had begun to clarify the outstanding issues and some positive momentum had been established. But he also warned that difficult issues remained and it was important to continue to discuss them. The recent unrest in Northern Ireland had added to the pressure, it seems, with reports on Friday that a man had been shot in the legs in the Derry area where violence broke out some weeks ago. Following the meeting on Thursday night, both the EU and the UK have indicated their desire for a solution based on the protocol. However, the Brexit-supporting Democratic Unionist Party want it scrapped. Another problem is the lack of detail in the so-called roadmap the UK delivered to the EU two weeks ago on how it would implement the Northern Ireland Protocol. Sheshkovich has asked the UK to return with clear endpoints, deadlines, milestones and the means to measure progress. And once again reminded the British government that solutions can only be found through joint action and through joint bodies. Now, as the EU continues to put pressure on the UK to fulfil its side of the bargain when it comes to the Northern Ireland Protocol, there seems to be a diplomatic mission taking place too. Ireland's Foreign Minister Simon Coveney held a number of meetings with Cabinet and Shadow Cabinet Ministers in London, including discussions with Lord Frost, Dominic Raab, the Foreign Secretary, and Brandon Lewis, the Northern Ireland Secretary. What is also interesting is how the Labour Party has reached out to the Unionists during this crisis. Louise Hay, the Shadow Northern Ireland Secretary, was in Belfast on Friday to meet civic and political leaders. The Labour Party has accused Boris Johnson's government of losing the trust of the Unionist community in Northern Ireland. The DUP, in an attempt to remain relevant, continue to blame the EU for the problems that have arisen from Brexit by attacking Sheshkovich, the European Commission Vice President. They described his claim that the solutions lie in the full implementation of the protocol and the full compliance with it as something that belongs in the realm of fantasy, not political reality and negotiation. They not only blame the EU for the protocol, but continue to demand that it is scrapped, but have yet to provide a viable alternative. The DUP understand that they have no sway over the UK government or the EU and seem willing to use inflammatory rhetoric and dog whistles directed at loyalist paramilitaries in order to stop the protocol. I hope that they fail. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support.
If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?